Okay, exciting progress. Um, my factory loom, which I still haven't finished by the way, this is all some of the leftover shit which I haven't figured out where it goes yet. And I've unfortunately I've had to disconnect it from the engine um, because the man's coming to weld my engine mounts on Monday. Um, but I was playing around with the wiring. That's the first thing I wanted to do was wire up my fuel pump. So the ECU over here sends a pulse out on one of the wires. Uh, this little wire down here, I think it is, yep, little green wire just here. And it comes over to here and I've wired it up into a relay. When the relay is earth, which is just a common earth, what I'm doing is there's a 12 volt feed on the fuse block up over here. And the feed comes down this orange wire into the relay, so the relay turns on and it goes out to the fuel pump. Rather than run the fuel pump dry, at the moment I just have this little LED saying relay's on, light turns on, I know that something's meant to be happening. Oh, I've also installed the ignition barrel and finished off some more wiring on that front. One of the bits I did was take a brown wire over here which was labelled as CB, for a CB radio I assume. I've hunked four wires into it, two of which run out to a common injector rail, so you have 12 volts for your two common injectors, and one of which is your supply feed for the ECU pin, where are we, pin 19 on the blue is your ignition voltage. So that's just wired up to my CB radio. The other ones I'd already wired up were for my HP tuners. <laughs> and so I thought I'd make a quick video because I just turned this key a second ago and my light came on. Which means that the ECU over here is triggering the relay over there, which means that the computer's working. So this is my first time using this, so I'm a bit excited. Uh, excuse any expletives. Read vehicle. Read from vehicle. Ignition is on. I just I assume I click on this. Oh, I've got I've got action. This is flashing. Oh, it's found it. You yeah, boy! It's reading! Oh, sorry. Um, it's reading. It's found the VIN. It's got everything. It's reading it. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Now, I don't have any licenses yet um, because I bought in the VCM software without any licenses because that way I didn't have to pay tax on the licenses when it came in. So I'll have to go and get myself a license. But, as you can see, I'm going to pause this rather than making you read for 1 minute and 30 seconds, but I'll be back in a minute and 30 seconds. I've got to go get the wife. <laughs> Alright, so I just went screaming down the hallway, going whoop, 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 like a Homer Simpson doing his little circular thing on the, on the ground. And the wife's got some friends sitting in the lounge, probably wondering what the fuck I'm going on about. But, when I got back, as you can hear, I'm puffing. It's read it. I've just created a little directory for my LS1 stuff and I'm just going to create it by year, month, day and what I've done. So this is all new so bear with me. Let's see what we can do. Make that big. Oh my god. It's found it. It's found it. Yeah! I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to click on shit. So. I'll probably just stop here, people, but yeah, it can read the air pump, the operating systems. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's all there. It's all working. Oh, what it's doing there. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I'm going to have to go and do some homework and learn how to use HP tuners, I guess. Um, there's all my speedo, my miles per hour, my pulses. I'm going to have to disable my VATS. Oh my god, it's all there. I'm so happy. So happy right now. Right, I can talk to my computer. Now I've just got to make the engine run, so I've got to get those mounts completed and rewire it back up 
put some oil in it, put an oil filter on the bottom of it, and see if we can actually get this thing to crank. Yeah!